It wouldn't be a show without looking at old footage of Scott Hartnell, would it? And we have to just admire the flow, the salad, the locks. What terminology does Scott Hartnell use? We're going to find out maybe here in a second. But some of the best hockey fit hair that we have seen has inspired a new segment here on NHL Now called Scotty's Locks. locks. Yeah, yeah pretty lock good. What did, what did... What is your favorite name for, for hockey hair, Scott? Flow, probably. You gotta have good flow. Flow, yeah, flow. Salad? Good. Yeah, salad's good. Salad? One. Yeah, salad. Yeah. I've never been in on the salad one. It's <laughs> never been for me. I've always been like, mm, not, not, not my for cup. You. But not for you. Nobody asked me, so I don't know why I'm offering that opinion. <laughs> your hair's always on salad. point, though, Jack. Your hair's right. always on point. You got the good salad yes. going. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. I have a lot of hairstylists to thank for that. But um, let's get into the segment. Here's how it's going to work. Okay. We're about halfway through the season here. So we're going to look ahead a little bit, and we're going to make some predictions, some locks, yeah. if you will, yeah. on some of the current situations in the National Hockey League. So I'm going to give you a topic, and you are either going to tell me that it's a lock yep. or it's not a lock. Okay. All right. easy so to play, right? Up, That's very easy. Very easy. Very yeah. easy. Very, very straightforward segment here. Yeah. Toddlers could play this game. And we are, in a lot of ways, just a group of three toddlers here. Yeah, so, yeah. Gruffy beard we've too. seen a lot of yeah. winning streaks in the NHL. A lot of six gamers. Mm -hmm. But we have yet to see a winning streak hit double digits. Mm -hmm. So, here's the statement. No team will have a double-digit winning streak. Is that a lock or is that not a lock? Scott, you first. That is an absolute lock. I think this year where the, how the <laughs> schedule is set up, you have two or three games, uh, these little mini-series against each other. It's like a playoff series, right? So you get to kind of uh, tweak a little bit. Uh, if you lose game one, you tweak it. You know what they're going to do in game two. Uh, so there's good response time for that. So I don't think there's going to be those uh, double-digit win streaks yeah i like that picture they got up here there that's that's on the screen there that's a good that's a good one all right so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna agree with you i think it's just gonna be two. oh god <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, that's good that's nice that's never nice. looked better ej never never looked better <laughs> uh i will say i agree with you lots because i you know i think it's hard to win the six in a row, and you see everybody's gotten a six, and then uh, they fall off the wagon there. So I'm going to agree with Scott on that one. Perfect. All right. Well, there were three teams that had double-digit winning streaks last season. I also think the length of the season comes into play here. Mm -hmm. Tougher to do in 56 games yeah. than 82. Just more opportunity mm -hmm. creates more likelihood, I think. True. Okay. Next up, the Hart Trophy for MVP will come out of the North Division. Of course, you got Austin Matthews there. You got Connor McDavid there. So is that a lock or is that not a lock, Scotty? That's a lock. And I'm going to say it's not Matthews. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Jackie. It's going to be McDavid. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. He's the best player for that team, best player in the league. So I think that's an absolute for sure lock. Well, what? Mm. I'm going to say that's not a lock because there's a My fella. segment, you got to agree with me. No, I don't have to agree with you. <laughs> no, I don't. I look, very, I look very stoic there. I don't know what's going on in that picture, but I would say this is not a lock because there's a fellow that can count to 1,000 that plays in Chicago, mm. that is having a great season. And if the Chicago Blackhawks were to get into the postseason, I think you got to consider them. So I don't think it's a lock. I, it's a likelihood, maybe, that McDavid will do it. But I'm not going to go lock. A likely, lightly lock? Light lock? <laughs> it's not all the way lock. <laughs> okay. So not a lock for me. I'll still give Patrick Kane some hope to get that trophy. I'll tell you what, too. If the Hawks make the postseason on the shoulders of a Patrick Kane, just dominant MVP caliber season, we're going to have the age-old debate. Or, sorry, if the Hawks miss, we're going to have the yeah. age-old debate of, like, can you give the MVP to a player that's not on a playoff team? Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Let's talk Rookie of the Year because there's a couple of rookies in Minnesota doing massive things. Yeah. Kirill the Thrill Kaprizov running away with the scoring race. But there's also Capo Kakin in between the pipes going for his eighth win tonight. He's got a 947 save over that seven-game winning streak. So the Calder will come out of Minnesota. Is that a lock? Scotty Hart. I think it is a lock. Actually, I know it is a lock. This Kaprizov, nope. he's so fun to watch. 
Uh, Ka uh, Kakanen, he's obviously he's had a great start to yeah. his NHL career, uh, but this guy's so dynamic. He's so fun to watch. He's putting in uh, every position, overtime, you know, four on four, uh, power play. So this guy is fun to watch. He's making it happen. He's, he's shifty. He's got a good shot. So uh, and just a smile on his face, too. He's always, uh, uh, if you're playing against this guy, it's like, oh, man, I just want to just run him over, right, just because he's out there having fun scoring goals. So uh, this guy's having a heck of a heck of a start to his NHL career and uh, doing it for a good team right now. Scotty, I can't believe you'd want to run over poor little Kirill Kaprizov. Well, that would slow him down a little bit. I, I, know, I know. I'm only joking. I know you would want to run him over. Uh, I got my old hair back. That's nice. Good to have that back. I'm going to agree. I'm going to say Locke as well because I think between one of those guys, they're going to win the Hart Trophy. I think Kaprizov has got a lot of attention, so he's very active in the voters' minds right now. You can see there's some really good candidates as well. Timmy Stutkla, who's got a pretty good salad going right there. Josh Norris, <laughs> uh, Vanacek has played well. Lankinen has played well. But I do agree. I think that one of those two, Kapanen or Kaprizov, because those that Minnesota Wild, I think are gonna, I think they got a great chance to be in the playoffs, yep. and that will help their candidacies as well. So uh, I agree. Lock. Okay, next up, what team will curse themselves by winning the President's Trophy this year? Uh, here's the statement. The city that wins the President's Trophy will start with a T. Right now, Toronto and Tampa at the top of the league standings. Lock or not a lock? Not a lock. I think there's a lot of good teams and you know, just a few points out. You can look at Florida, Carolina, St. Louis is right in the mix there as well. Uh, so I think there's a lot of teams that can uh, make up the ground. There's uh, some teams with some games in hand as well on the Maple Leafs. So uh, I think just the parity right now, especially at the top of the, of the standings in the league, uh, is so close. So I, I think it's, uh, well, I know it's not a lock, so I don't know. Time will tell. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one, too. I think that's not a lock. I mean, it, yeah, it appears that Toronto and Tampa, they're up the top. But, I mean, they're only a point better than Carolina has yep. been playing well. The Islanders, we've talked about them a lot this show. They're playing good hockey. Vegas, despite some injury issues, have been playing great. And who's to say someone doesn't? Like, Colorado's got a lot of guys that are talented there. They have a bunch of injuries. But who don't, who's to say they don't get on a hot run and take off up the standings points-wise? So I think it's a little too early to say. So, therefore... Not a lock. A hot run, but no one's going to get on a double digit. Hot exactly. Run, That's right. As we've yeah. already as uh, established in the show. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. One last one for you. And this one might be the toughest one, actually. The four current top teams in the West will be the same four to make the playoffs. So essentially, that's how the standings will shake out at the top. Is that a lock or not a lock? I think it's a lock. I, I don't see the Coyotes, Kings, Ducks, Sharks getting in those top four. I think the Avalanche, they are, obviously have some injuries right now. So I think they when they get guys healthy, they're young D back in the lineup. Johnson on the back end as well, veteran uh, defensemen. I think it's going to help them up. And I think the top three teams are uncatchable. Yeah, I, I'm going to tend to agree with you there. It's hard to, it's hard to say a lock when you have half the season left. True, and there's, there's, such a, there's not a big span of difference. I mean, it's one or two points. But I'm going to agree with you because with the injury to Kemper, I think that's really going to hurt the Coyotes. That takes them out of the mix. I like that L.A. has been pushing this year and more competitive, but I don't see them sweeping through. They lost to the Ducks the other night, lost a point there. Yep. They have to sweep through those teams, and I don't see that happening either. And San Jose, they've been up, they've been down. Hard to figure out where they're going to be. So I think the four teams that are there now in some order are going to be there at the end. So I will agree and say lock. Lock. Lock her up. Might be a tougher question to apply to the East, maybe. Yeah. But uh, we yes. can have that discussion at a later date. Because mm -hmm. right now it would be maybe too hard. Mm -hmm. Maybe. <laughs> All right, that's been Scotty's lock. Yes. Uh, I got to see EJ with that hair one more time. I wish I could. We can't get another look at that, I don't think. Uh, I'm sure they'll. But, I'm sure uh, they'll. I don't want the Jackie, picture. come on. I want a full screen. Come on, Jackie. I'm sure they'll find it. There it is. Hey, I'm sure they'll there get it. it. There you go. Thank goodness. We just need one yes. more look at EJ's yeah, luscious yeah. locks. I've had digital, some, I've had digital, some long hair in my locks. life, too. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. But you won't get. I've seen pictures. You won't be getting those photos. Sorry. We'll find them. them. We'll find them. <laughs>